Hi there, I'm Chloe, and today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful mantle piece. This one's going to be styled for the 4th of July, but this is something you can adapt um, the workings of it for any holiday to decorate your mantle. So let's get started. What you're going to do is you're going to take two blocks of dry floral foam. I've already got one prepared, and this is how you're going to prepare them. You're going to cut a piece of craft chicken wire. Um, hopefully you can get craft chicken wire. You can pick it up at Michael's or you can buy it online um, because if you get regular chicken wire, it's going to be really, really much stiffer than this. Okay. And all you're going to do is you're going to cut it so that your foam fits on it just like that. And then you're going to wrap your chicken wire around it. And the reason for this is you'll see that this is going to um, have flowers stuck in it and it could start to crumble or break. And you do not want to go to all that trouble of making your arrangement and have, it also is a way to hold this up, but you don't want to have your whole piece of styrofoam um, or floral foam uh, crumble and your whole arrangement fall. So, and then I've just taken two pipe cleaners. You probably can get by with one and just uh, cut it in half. And then you can trim those ends. You don't need those for anything. And you have a base to start our arrangement. If you have not used command hooks before, I'm going to give you a little tutorial in command hooks. And the first thing you want to do, um, and I have found, thanks to a friend who taught me that these little um, alcohol pads way easier than using a whole big sheet of paper towel and a whole bottle of alcohol. And you just want to clean where it is you're going to stick down your command hooks to make sure that they will hold. And then you're going to take your command hook and it comes with um, a sticky piece like this. And it very clearly says in black wall and you're going to peel off the red and white part and you're going to stick it right on the back of your command hook, like so. Our alcohol clean spots are ready. And I can go ahead and just press this down, just like that. And if you're going to have anything really heavy, you wanna leave this. I mean, if you can leave it for 24 hours, if you can put your hooks up the day before, great. I haven't found really a problem if I stick it down a little bit before and I'm not working with something really heavy yet today. So um, that's all you have to do. And I'm going to put my other one down and then we're going to get to work. So once you have your command hooks down and you have your piece of dry floral foam that is wrapped in chicken wire, you're just going to take where the chicken wire is and you're going to feed those hooks through the chicken wire. You don't necessarily want to um, stick them into your foam. And there you go, and you have a base ready to start your arrangement. Because I have my bunting down below my mantle, I don't really want this to hang over. If you were doing something you wanted to hang over, you could take some foliage and have it hang like this and just stick it into your foam. But I want this more as something that's gonna go down the edge of my mantle to decorate the top of my mantle. So I've added those two pieces. I think I have one, just one more of that. I only have one more of that, so um, I may skip that. And I've got some larger pieces of some foliage, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this right there. Most of our foliage is in. I'm going to add a few more little pieces. Um, now that I now that I see it, this is this is really big. <laughs> and I'm going to fill this in with blue hydrangeas. You 
you can use any flowers you want. I just had these blue hydrangeas and I wanted to use them, but you could use red, white, and blue flowers, whatever you choose. happy with how my arrangement looks and now it's time to add the stars and stripes. So along with the bunting that I hung below, I have my beautiful blue arrangement um, with blue hydrangeas and my American flags and I'm all ready to celebrate the 4th of July. If you have any questions about this project, please put it in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I will put any of the materials I used in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time right here. Bye.